Greetings all, the Devious Monkey here. Okay, big surprise today. It's Monday. Everything that I ordered to complete this studio setup, the overhead, all that stuff, new light, everything was supposed to be in either tomorrow or Wednesday. I woke up this morning to a notification from the UPS store that I got a package. And I was like, okay, what's up with that? Well, turns out that some of the stuff showed up. So we're gonna open that up. The bigger news is that I got the light. So we're gonna open that up right now. This will be my first unboxing with the overhead setup. Close my knife. Okay, so here's a couple of things. Let's set that one aside. This is PM 2.5 N95 filters for the mask that I wear all the time. So it's got this little pocket here that you can slide a filter in. Now I hand wash this every so often and because I had to wear it when I got my hair cut last week, it was just filled with little itty bitty hair. So I scrubbed the crap out of it last week and I thought to myself, hmm, I haven't changed that filter ever. So maybe I should get some filters. I wonder how hard it's gonna to be to get them. And well, it wasn't hard at all. I got a 30 pack on Amazon of the exact filter that I needed and I got it, what, I ordered it Friday? I got it today. So yay. Here's another important one. This would be the dun, dun, dun. The 10 foot HDMI cable, yay, I can finally put this overhead and have it set up correctly so that I don't have cable, the one cable just sort of hanging down and being annoying. Now, the big kahuna here. The Aperture MC Multicolor LED. Okay, so we got the light. I mean, it's weird how small this thing is because I actually have it set up with the big diffusing thing on it. All right, so we got the middle piece here, which is the actual light itself. I suppose I should peel that off. I don't know why everybody gets a kick out of that. Yeah, okay. Then inside this little package is the diffuser. Ooh. Apparently a very, very small cable and Velcro with the 3M stuff so I can stick it various places. Uh -huh. And then actually the pouch where the light goes in. So all this shit will get put away because I'll never use it. Now, the nice thing about this is that it's got the little magnets here on each side. All right, let me turn it so that's right there. And controls on the one side, and then it's got venting around it. And then you see your little quarter 20. There we go, quarter 20 hole right there. So all that, of course, then aligns with this. Cut out the side so you can see what the hell you're doing and also venting, boom. Okay, there we go, USB-C charging port right there, on off, and then this is where you control all the different settings. So if you wanna turn it from 5600 to 4400 or whatever, that's where you do it, and basically you just push this wheel in, and then the display will tell you what you're correcting. So let's see if it even turns on. Oh, ooh, ah, ooh. Okay, sorry, I'm just playing. I'm gonna have to plug it in. I'm also gonna have to set it to lemon yellow and stick it up there and run the cable and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna do all that and then I'm gonna show you studio-wise that everything is done. Cables are all run where they're supposed to be and I will cinch them down even more with the tons of Velcro stuff that I've got and we'll be good to go. Be right back. Well, that was a complete buzzkill. The freaking HDMI cable's got the wrong fitting on it. I think what I'm gonna have to do is just go spend an exorbitant amount of money at Best Buy and just get a cable that I can see there. This is the bad thing about ordering shit online. 
sometimes you just have to wait for it to show up to find out that it's friggin' wrong. Okay, so that sucks. But as you can see from the lemony yellow goodness above me, at least I got the Aperture MC hooked up. I got it set correctly. I downloaded everything to the app and got it connected. And you know, now I can control that light through the app, which is yippee. And I have it plugged in with that correct 10 foot cable. See, I mean, twice now I've ordered a cable and it's been wrong. So I do have the correct cable running to the Aperture MC and I have it run behind the shelves and everything so it's out of sight and I have it Velcroed off to the fixture up at the top there so that it, for some reason, if it were to come unplugged or whatever, it isn't gonna move and it also keeps it from, you know, if the, if the cord gets tugged on this side that it won't yank the light and mess it up and blah, 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 blah. All right, so that's that. That's a total shitter that I got the wrong cable. It's incredibly annoying, but I'm going to now go out before it starts pouring because there's a 100% chance of rain with wind and everything, and I'm not going to drive in that. I'm going to go out and get a cable, see if I can't find the correct HDMI cable uh, at you know a good enough length. And that's the other thing is that I swear I ordered a 10-foot cable. That thing's not 10 feet. There's no way and that's kind of annoying. So uh, I will just have to probably throw it in the drawer and just chuck it up to probably ordering the wrong thing. So that's it for now. I'm gonna run out and get that cable. I'll be right back. <sighs> okay, so after a long belabored search on the internet and the frustration of shitty websites, I ultimately ended up ordering a 10 foot cable that is full size HDMI to the micro HDMI, not mini, and certainly not display port like the dumb monkey bought. So that cable now lives in a drawer because it's the incorrect cable, but you never know when you're gonna need it. Remember, full circle. So I went to Best Buy and I ended up getting a micro HDMI to HDMI adapter. And I found like a 10 foot cable of full size HDMI to full size HDMI in one of my drawers. Those drawers are magical sometimes, man. So now I'm gonna connect this damn thing up and make sure that it works. And then I'm gonna play with my cat because he's not a cat of cats. Okay, it's all done now, completely done. I got the correct HDMI cable with an adapter, of course. I have a power cable. I have my MC, Aperture MC light here, my Aperture MC light up there with the correct cable running all the way down out of sight behind and on top of the bookshelves. My LED light is going good there. Well, I mean, the Cinereg is perfect anyways. And I've got the addition of the uh, Movo VXR10 microphone up there without dead cat. And I've got my little HDMI monitor right here in front of me, showing the gloriousness of my hands and all the space that I have here because Dumb Monkey took it off of active stabilization, which cropped in. <laughs> Everything's set. I'm good to go. My table is, is sturdy. It has nothing to do with that light. Fairy lights, background, jackpot. So I'm finally done. Seriously, I'm, I'm done. I have absolutely nothing else that I need to get to put this all together. Uh, the unboxing of the Aperture MC Lite looked fantastic, I thought. Settings are all done now and everything is good to go. I do have the cable that I ordered, the correct HDMI full size to micro HDMI 10 foot cable coming although it isn't exactly needed at the moment because I got the adapter after I found that other long ass HDMI to HDMI cable, but it's always good to have a backup. As you can see, I'm going through cables left and right and all that kind of stuff. So, all right, before my cat freaks out because he's laying there waiting for belly rubs, I'm gonna cut it off right here. That's all I got for you. <sighs> Thanks for coming along with me on, on the journey of the thousand changes that I've done in here to get to this single, very compact and awesome YouTube studio. Devious Monkey Studio is done. Yay. Thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up.